All right, welcome to this tutorial on how we're going to be creating a AI SMS agent using the new Chinese model, Quen, which was made by Alibaba. Now, I just made a video about the other Chinese model, DeepSeek, and how that's basically taking over and made ChatGPT obsolete. And now suddenly we have this brand new one as well. And if you're not familiar with the differences between these models, that's not what my channel is about. I'm not going to give you a breakdown on the different token sizes and which one does this and that. My channel is strictly about how to make money using these LLMs, how to make money using AI. And that's exactly what I want to teach you here. If you want to learn about the differences between all of these, you can go watch some other YouTubers, some other channel. But this is strictly about how do you monetize this and take advantage of the opportunity that we have in front of us. But just to summarize, it's cheaper, faster, more efficient, and arguably even better. But we're going to find that out as we build out this SMS bot. And the example of this agent that we're going to be building is a doctor's receptionist. But again, you can do this for any niche. It just depends on the prompt that you're going to use. The objective is to instantly qualify leads, answer any questions, and book appointments, of course. And that's what we're going to be building out. Now, the structure is very simple. It's going to be an SMS-based agent. So SMS comes in. The response goes to Quen. Quen's going to intelligently come up with a response based on how we train it. And then as the output goes out via SMS, it's going to be a conversational conversation where they're going to go back and forth. And the software is we're going to be using to build this out is going to be go high level. We're going to be using that for the SMS functionality. But of course, you can connect this directly with Twilio if you want. Uh, specifically, we're going to be using my version of go high level, which is Hexona Systems, which is my company. Uh, but essentially, it's just a white label. I've tailored it to be more specific for AI automation agencies, but you can use either or. We're going to use make.com to communicate and help bridge them together. So that's how they're going to share data. And of course, we're going to be using Quinn as well. Now, real quick, if you don't know who I am, my name is Hamza Beg. I go by Hamza Automates. I run a seven-figure AI automation agency, award-winning as well. So you can see here me winning my Sasspreneur Platinum Award, putting me at the top 50 out of 60,000 agencies. I've also won their Affiliate Award, meaning that not only have I successfully been able to scale my own agency, but I've also been able to teach others as well, putting me in a very unique position to be able to share my insights tutorials with all of you as well. My main mission and objective now is to help others build their own AI automation agencies, which I do through my school community at school.com slash automate. We just passed 23,000 members as of today. So you can see here all of my content and tutorials are completely free. So if you do like this tutorial, we have many others here building AI agents in various different forms. So if you want to take advantage of the AI automation gold rush, then you have to be a part of my free school community. So it's a no brainer. So just jumping back into the actual video. So one thing about Quen is that it's not that simple to get access to their API. So if you go to Quinn and you sign up, it's not exactly clear on how to get their API access. I don't think it's publicly available yet. I think there are some backdoors where you can go to Alibaba directly and sign up to get API keys. But to make things as simple as possible, I did find a workaround, which I'm going to take you through right now. So we're going to be using something called Open Router. So Open Router basically is a way for us to proxy different LLMs in one central place. So it just combines all of them together. So DeepSeek, ChatGPT, Claude, now Quinn, all in one central place. So now we only need Open Router to basically access all of these AIs in one place, which is fantastic. And the best part about that, of course, is that they have API access. So we can create our API keys here, which I suggest you do. It's very simple to get started. It's a free platform, so you get access to all of this create your keys, and then we're going to head over to make.com. Make.com is going to be the brain behind how we're going to be setting up this chat agent. Basically, the concept is that the message that the customer sends us comes in to this automation via a webhook through Twilio or Go High Level. Then Open Router is going to receive it. And you can see here that we have our prompt set up here. Um, I've done that for the dentist, the, the doctor's receptionist. The, uh, that's for the assistant. Then for the user, we put the message body. And then here, when you're deciding which model to choose, now we have Quen here as an option. We've also got DeepSeek and everyone else, but now Quen is what we're really excited about, which is really cool. So you just set that up. You can search for open router and then do create a chat completion. And then when we're done with, once we've got that response, we want to send that back to high level using their own module, the update a contact field. So we just put the contacts ID, their phone number, and then we put the response. I have it named as deep because I just did a previous tutorial, but I will rename that to Quinn. But you just put the output over here, then high level is going to recognize it and then basically send that to the client. And I'm going to show you how that works right now in action. So you can see here I have an automation called Quinn's master brain. If I open that up and of course you can get access to all of these templates inside my school community as well. But this is the way that the brain works. So essentially, it's triggered by two scenarios. One is the customer sends us a message, meaning that we receive some sort of inbound message. And two, we receive um, the output of our LLM, 
or uh, the output from Quinn. So wherever you see deep seek, just change that to Quinn. So whenever Quinn comes up with an output, we trigger the brain, or when the customer sends us a message, we trigger the brain. Then it's going to come down here to this if else checker and check what was the trigger? Was it the customer or was it Quinn? And then if it was the customer, then we're going to send the customer's response to Quinn via make through that webhook that I just showed you. But if it's the deep, if it's the Quinn's response, if Quinn has given us an output, then we're going to go this way. And if we go this way, we're going to wait a couple seconds to seem human. And then we're going to send an SMS of the output of whatever Quinn had sent us from make. So I hope you see how that makes sense. Basically, it's going to come down here. Uh, if the customer replies, we're going to send it to make. And if, if uh, make sends us the response, it's going to come over here and send it to the message. So it's like an ongoing back and forth using the brain, essentially. There's inputs and outputs, inputs and outputs. And I'm going to show you this in action right now. So what we're going to do is I'm going to save this, I believe. Then I'm going to get my phone and I'm actually going to interact with our bot. So I'm going to head over to the conversations tab and I'm going to say, hey, how's it going? You can see here that the message just came in. I did some testing of, of course, before this video to actually build this out. But you, you can see here I send that and now al already this automation has been triggered. You can see, you know, one second ago, essentially that this automation had run and now it's going to it's going to go high level and the response has come from Quinn already. So, hey, everything's good here. How can I help you today? What services do you offer? And now this is going to go through the prompt and basically whatever I've hard coded there, it's going to give us that response. But again, the purpose of this video is just to show you how we can connect Quinn and create an agent out of it, which is really cool. So again, the automation has run once more, the response should be coming in. And it says we offer general checkups, vaccinations, you know, all of these things right here, call us for more detailed infos or schedule an appointment. I'd like to, and of course, this is just a prompt that I threw together. So the, it's not, you know, super fine tuned. Normally I would make them like very like relentless appointment setters who are like looking to book appointments, getting the qualification questions through the door. But this is just to show you, you know, the baseline connection here. And you can, and you can see here now it says perfect. What's your first and last name? And then it's going to go through the qualification criteria, but that's basically how you set them up. They're super powerful. And that's pretty much how you do it. It's very simple. It's only three steps in make.com. And then you can use the template inside go high level that I have. And then you can start using these Chinese LLMs to build really fast, efficient chatbots and basically blow everyone who's using those old models like ChatGPT and Claude, blow them out of the water because these are faster and cheaper and you can start offering better rates and more competitive pricing and then you can dominate. So if you want access to everything that I showed you here and if you want more in-depth tutorials, I highly recommend you join my school community at school.com slash automate. It's completely free to join. You get access to all of the classroom material and then you can unlock my resources and then use those to help you in your automation journey. So you can also message me directly in there, answer all of my DMs and I'll be more than happy to assist you. But I hope you like the tutorial and I'll see you inside.